Hi everyone, my name is Gray from Grow Thickly. We are going to show you an update on the variegated billy that we propagated the last time. It's not looking great. So here are the variegated billy that we have propagated in our last video. It's not looking so great uh, and we realize why. So if you actually look over here, the root, uh, we had to cut it off due to root rot. And the reason is because uh, this was very mature when we actually propagated it. So when the root was actually very mature, it became very woody and we forced it into a pot. Uh, it actually broke off the connections and ba basically it couldn't let any nutrients uh, to flow either upwards towards the stem or downwards uh, towards the roots. And that caused root death and eventually root rot. So we had to intervene, we took it off and we cut it out and we had to uh, re-propagate it uh, or basically to put it in a different way uh, for us to actually save the plant. So over here, this is the other one. This is the mid-cut. And you can see over here, after we have intervened, uh, we have two nice new roots growing. And so that's how I know that this plant can still be saved. And over here, uh, even though there's no roots growing, uh, there's an eye where the root is going to start growing out. So we notice uh, an eye like this on the other one and uh, within a few days a root is going to sprout out of it. So let us uh, show you what we have done and hopefully that can help you to uh, take better care of your plant when you propagate them or if something unexpected happens you can still save your plants. Here is what you need. You need a white mouth glass jar. You want to use a white mouth one so that it's easy to get it in and out. We're using one from IKEA. Next, you want an air pump uh, from the aquarium. So any air pump from any aquarium is going to do, even an old one. Then lastly, you're going to want uh, the airline as well as an air stone. So that helps you to blow small bubbles that increases aeration. So without further ado, let's get this setup started. First thing you want to do is to fill your jar with a heavier volcanic rock such as a lava rock. Get it about one third filled. And the next thing you want to do is to put your air stone and bury it as low as you can. This helps you to get the most aeration in the water, which helps to prevent root rot. Next, you want to fill it up with more of the lava rock to secure the position of the air stone. Okay, so now the air stone is going nowhere. Next, you are going to put your propagations into the container. And add the remainder of your lava rock. So the purpose of the lava rock is to help to keep the plant upright. We are choosing lava rock because it has a lot of micro holes that is going to increase the amount of uh, spaces for beneficial microbes to stay inside uh, and that is going to compete with uh, the harmful bacteria that causes root rot uh, for resources and that really helps to prevent root rot. Um, because of the, all the pores, it's going to help to absorb, help the water absorb more oxygen uh, which also helps to prevent root rot as well. So we want to fill it up just enough to basically uh, cover the plant and to keep it secure. When you add enough rocks to the top, it's going to secure the plant in place. Now what we want to do is to pour in the water. And you want your water to be at a level where it's pretty high. But at the same time, uh, try not to cover the entire stem with water because the stem uh, needs to sit slightly above the water line to help it to breathe. And this is where the rocks really help as well um, because it creates all these little spaces, uh, increases the humidity that gets to the stem that helps it to stay alive after it's been propagated but at the same time not so wet that the stem gets rot. So now that all this is done, we're going to connect this to an air pump and we're going to show you the end result. This is how the setup looks like after it's done. It doesn't look the best, but I promise you the plant is going to be so much better once it has recovered. So we recommend usually that we will cut the leaves away when we propagate plants because that reduces the requirements on the roots to 
supply the plant with water and that generally helps with a better outcome with propagation but we were too hesitant to do it because as you can see the plants on these the leaves on this plant are just absolutely gorgeous so it's a lesson learned but uh, since it's going to do well we still want some leaves here to provide some nutrients while it's growing its new roots and hopefully we won't regret that but this is going to uh, come out well and we hope to show you another update once it is fully recovered. So this is the mother plant after the propagation. It is doing very well and uh, it has fully recovered from the propagation. It's showing out new leaves and there's multiple new shoots that can uh, become new plants. So thank you for following our propagation journey and I hope you grow thickly. Follow us on YouTube and on Instagram at Grow Thickly to find out more about how we keep our plants lush and healthy. Thank you.